everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker here. And if you remember about this time last year, I was stringing some peppers to dry. I did not use the dehydrator for these and they dried, I guess in about maybe three months. I actually had them in the house. I had them hanging um, in a closet that we didn't use. I'll put that video somewhere up here so you can watch it later. In the meantime, I'm gonna unstream these and I'm gonna put them in a grinder so I can make some pepper. It's about 20 bucks and it says coffee grinder slash spice herb grinder. That's what I'm using. Be right back. All right, so here we go. It's really not um, all too terribly complicated to use. You literally um, put the peppers in here, put this thing down this way and so I'm gonna unstring my peppers and then we'll get started this stuff literally has me about to sneeze <laughs> I'm about to sneeze oh okay fair warning if you don't use gloves all right work, so here we go Not even, not even 10 seconds. You saw that in real time. Here we go. I see a couple seeds in there. Other than that, that's powder. And whoo, do I have to sneeze. To sum it up, if you've got some dried peppers hanging around or any other kind of vegetable, mushrooms, mushrooms are a big one because you can actually make a really, really nice um, mushroomy soup or broth or something like that. When you make a powder after dehydrating, it is such good flavor. So I'd like to thank you and you should really try one of these grinders. They work.